Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created this uh, why choose a section and this uh, services section. Now in this video, we will design the rest of the sections of our website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code of our website and let's go to the index.html file and let's start by creating this uh, our latest articles section. So here, let's go ahead and create a container division and in that we'll create a section with an ID of blog. Now in this, the first thing we need to have is uh, the heading and the subheading. Now for this heading and subheading, we have a fixed width that we see over here. So if you go back to the CSS and uh, if you take a look at the heading container, let's search for heading container. And here we can see that for heading containers inside the sections, we have a max width of 500 pixels. So let's add a division with the class of heading container. And in this we will add the heading and the subheading. So I'll just copy this and let's create an H2 and paste it over here. And uh, here, let's create a paragraph. Let's copy this text and uh, let's paste it over here. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create these different blog cards. Now, these are almost the same as these cards over here. We just need to add the labels below this heading over here for the blogs. So what we can do is we can use the same classes that we used over here. So if you go back to our HTML and if you go to the services section, here we can see that we have created this uh, division of the class of services container and in that we have the service division. So I'll just go ahead and copy this uh, services container from here and uh, I'll just paste it down here. And now if you go back and if you go to the website, here we can see that our heading and subheading and these block cards are displayed over here. So it is styled almost perfectly. We just need to add these uh, labels over here and this button. So further, let's go back and uh, let's make changes to this content. Now here for the image, we need to make it clickable. So in services, we didn't have this link for these services. Now for this blog post, we need to have a link. So when we click on this image, we need to go to the link of this blog post and we need to do the same for the heading of the blog posts. So we need to add them inside anchor tags. So here for the service inside this service division, let's create an anchor tag and here we can add the link of the post. And let's add this image inside this anchor tag. And let's go ahead and change the image to blog1.jpg. And here inside the content, we need to add this S3 inside an anchor tag. So let's create an anchor tag over here and let's add the S3 inside the anchor tag. And let's change the headings over here. So let's go back to our original design and let's copy this heading and let's paste it over here. And let's do the same with this uh, paragraph and let's paste it over here. Now we need to add the labels over here. So for the labels, we'll create a division with the class of labels. And in that for each of the labels, we'll create anchor tags and let's give it a class of label. And for this, we have two labels, game dev and programming. So let's type game dev. And let's duplicate this and here let's type programming. Right now let's go ahead and copy this service and I'll just paste it down here two more times. I'll just delete the previous service division and let's paste it down here two more times and let's make changes in the content. So for the second one, let's change this to block2.jpg and here for the heading, let's copy this heading from here and let's paste it over here. And let's change the labels to game dev and animations. And let's copy this uh, paragraph and let's paste it over here. And let's do the same for the third block. So here let's change this to block 3.jpg and let's copy this uh, heading and I'll just paste it over here. And uh, we need to have the labels as networking and advanced. 
and advanced. Let's copy this paragraph and let's paste it over here. And then lastly, we need to have the button for displaying all the posts. So let's scroll down and go just before the section. And here, let's create an anchor tag. And let's create a button. So let's give it a class of BTN. And this button is going to be outlined. So we need to have just the outline. So let's add a class of outlined. And we have already created the class over here. So here for this button, we have this outlined class. So let's go ahead and add a text of view all posts. And now if you go back to our website, here we can see that we have all the content displayed almost exactly as we want. We just need to style these labels now. So let's do that. Let's go back and let's go to the style.css file and uh, let's create a comment called blog section. And let's style the labels. For the labels, we have this class of label and it is inside the labels division. So let's go ahead and type blog labels A. So we are targeting all the anchor tags inside the labels. And let's set the color to light color. And let's set the font weight to 500. And let's set the font size to 11 pixels. Let's set the text transform to uppercase and a letter spacing of two pixels. And let's add a background color. So let's type block label and let's add a background color of var accent color and let's add a padding of three pixels top and bottom six pixels left and right and let's add a border radius of four pixels so that's basically it with the block section of our website now let's go ahead and create this contact us section so let's go back to our html file and let's go outside this div and let's create a comment I'll just tap end of blog section and now let's create a section with an ID of contact and in that we'll create a container division and for the heading and the subheading let's create a heading container and let's create an h2 and let's copy this heading and let's paste it over here let's create a paragraph for the subheading let's copy this and let's paste it over here All right now we need to create the form so let's create a form element and uh, in this, we need to have these different input fields and this text area. Now for these two input fields, we'll create a single division so that they are one next to the other. So let's create a division of the class of group and let's create an input field and let's add a placeholder. Let's type full name and let's duplicate this and here let's type email. And if you want to add labels, you can add that over here as well. You can just type label and add the label over here. Now, since this is just a simple form, I'll just add these input fields with placeholders. Now, after this, we need to have this text area. So let's go outside this div and let's create a text area. And uh, let's add a placeholder over here. And uh, let's type your message. And then lastly, we need to have a button. So I'll just create a button over here. And let's give it a class of BTN. And let's tap send message. So let's go back to our website and this is our form. We'll also set the cursor to pointer when we hover over this button. So let's go back to the styles of the button. And uh, for the button, let's add a cursor of pointer. All right now let's go back and uh, let's go ahead and style this contact form that we have over here. Before that, I'll just go ahead and add a comment. I'll just tap end of contact form. Let's go to the styler CSS file and let's start styling this. Let's create a comment. I'll just type contact form. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to add a background color over here. So let's target the contact section and let's set a background color of F5, F5, F5. And now let's go ahead and style this form. So let's type form, display of flex and flex direction to column. Let's add a gap of 16 pixels. Now let's go ahead and style the group division. So here we can see inside the group division, we have both these input fields. So let's type form, group, display of flex, and let's add a gap of 16 pixels over here. Right now let's go ahead and style these input fields. So let's type form input and form text area. Let's set the width to 100%. Let's set a padding of 10 pixels, top and bottom, 24 pixels, left and right. Let's add a background color of white. 
and uh, let's set the border to none and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and this is how our form looks let's also style this text area separately so let's type form text area let's set the height to 100 pixels and uh, resize to none so that the user is not able to resize the text area now for this button we don't have the correct font size and also the width so the font size of the button is uh, set to 16 pixels so let's go over here and uh, let's target the button inside the form so let's type form btn let's set the font size to 16 pixels and let's set the width to fit content and we also need to remove the margin on top of this button for the contact section so here let's type margin top zero and this is how it looks All right now the last thing we will do is we'll create the footer so here we have this footer so let's go to our html file and uh, let's create a footer element and uh, let's create a div with a class of container and then we need to have this top section where we have the logo this subheading and these uh, social media icons so let's create a division with the class of top and for the left section let's create a division with the class of left and in that we need to have the logo so let's create an anchor tag with a class of logo and uh, here let's type logo and let's copy this paragraph and uh, let's create a p tag and let's paste it over here and then let's create a division with the class of right and uh, here we need to have this text follow us on so let's copy this and let's create a paragraph paste it over here and then we need to have the social media icons so let's create a division of the class of social and in that let's create an anchor tag and here you can add the link of your social media pages and here let's create an img tag and for the source let's type images forward slash x logo dot svg let's copy this uh, anchor tag and paste it two more times and for the second logo we need to have instagram and uh, then we need to have dribble and then let's go outside the top division and uh, here let's create a division with the class of copyright and let's add the text over here so i'll just copy this and let's paste it over here so that's it with the html of our footer now let's go to style.css file and let's style it let's add a comment called footer and right now this is how our footer looks so the first thing we will do is we will change the size of these icons so let's type footer social img and let's set the width to 30 pixels and we need to have this hover effect for these icons so for that let's go ahead and type footer social img colon hover and let's type transform scale of 1.2 and let's add a smooth transition i'll just type transition of all 300 milliseconds is so now we can see that we have this hover effect now let's go ahead and add a dark background color for this footer so let's tap footer and let's tap background let's tap var dark color let's set the color of all the text to white and let's add a padding of 60 pixels and for left and right let's type 32 pixels let's also change the color of this logo so let's tap footer a for the anchor tag and let's tap color of light color let's also change this to light color Now we need to have these social media icons one next to the other so let's target the social division i just have footer social and let's set the display to flex let's add a gap of 32 pixels and let's set the margin top to 24 pixels now we need to have these two divisions one next to the other so let's target the container which is uh, this division with the class of top and let's set the display to flex so let's have footer top display of flex let's tap justify content space between and now we can see that they are aligned to the left and to the right now for the logo inside the footer let's set the font size to be a little bit higher so i'll just go ahead and target the logo so just a footer logo and let's set the font size to 20 pixels let's try 24 pixels and then lastly let's also style this copyright division so let's start footer copyright and let's set the color to rgba 255 255 255 and for the opacity let's type 0.5 and with that we have styled the footer of our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day